this is the perfect time of year to pick up a great new book, right? Whether you'll be reading on the beach, the train, or on your commute, at home, in your backyard, in your apartment. Next guest has some summer reads to keep you fully entertained. So please welcome Jules Rivera from Books Are Magic yes. in Brooklyn. Good morning, Jules. Good Thanks for being morning. here. Good morning. Thank you for having yes, me. Yes, of course. So tell us about Books Are Magic, your shop. You have a couple locations? Yeah, we've got two locations, one on Smith Street and one on Montague. Um, so Cobble Hill and mm -hmm. Brooklyn Heights. Okay. Um, it's owned by Emma Straub, her husband Mike, and um, it's also co-owned by um, Eddie Joyce, who's also an author. Okay. Um, it's a really, really wonderful store. It was my favorite store when I first moved to Brooklyn. Oh. It's a really wonderful community spot. You can bring your kids, your dogs. Mm -hmm. You can talk to local authors who come in and do signings. We do story times for kids. Awesome. We do book launches. Great. I mean, you name it, we do it. You do we it. have a lot of fun. I love, love a local yeah. bookstore, right? I'm a mom and pop bookstore in the alive. community keeps yeah. it keep going them alive. so let's talk about the the wide variety of books you have to keep people yes. entertained because we've got something for everybody let's begin here with the uh the romance for those who are, are a little sappy yes mm. yes yes okay so the wedding date by jasmine guillory it is so fun it's a really great trope i really love it it's the sort the horde of like you know fake date are we kind of falling in love? Is this oh. a little bit of a vibe? Uh, mm -hmm. So the story goes, this you know, lovely gentleman, his ex is getting married, he doesn't have a date. He somehow ends up it's stuck in an elevator with someone who ends up becoming like a really interesting, you know, option. Oh, the old elevator stuff yes. thing. Okay. Oh, they sounds go like a rom-com in the making. <laughs> loving, 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 loving. So it's, they, they decide to go on the date, they go to the wedding, they have a fun time, they decide to go their separate ways, they're professional, and yet they can't stop thinking about each mm. other. So, Makes you, know, you want to know what happens next. What happens next? next. Right. Okay, but very from good. from romance to horror. Mm -hmm. So, Mother Thing by Ansley Hogarth. She is so, so amazing. She came into the store to sign. Oh, that's Such awesome. a lovely woman. Um, this story is about a woman who moves in with her husband and her mother-in-law. And her mother-in-law, you know, a little stiff. She has a little bit of like, you know, hesitancy towards establishing a relationship with her. Um, when she dies suddenly, she's haunted by her ghost. Oh. I think it's a really interesting story about, you know, dealing with your own relationship with your mother, struggling relationship mm. with your mother-in-law. Um, very spooky, very scary, mm. a little gross. Okay, oh, good, I got it all. Let's mm. move on to the mystery, murder, mystery category. This is so fun. So, The Appeal, it is sort of like a, I always recommend this to people who really love, you know, like murder mystery podcasts, true crime, all of that. So this is a theater troupe, they are, you know, supporting their director, having a fun time. The director and his wife end up being struck by absolute tragedy, finding out that their granddaughter has cancer. Oh. Oh. So the troupe comes together, they're like, we're gonna donate, we're gonna give you money to support you. But then some of them start to think that something's a little off, maybe mm -hmm. the treatment isn't right, whatever. Huh. Suddenly, murder hits, dun, and somebody's dun, dun. arrested. And you have to go through a bunch of different emails and text messages, not only get to know the characters, but figure out if they're lying, figure out where the, okay. the fraud is. Well, we only have a minute left, so yeah. I want to make sure you get to all the rest here. So what do we have right here? This is... This is a translated work. It is a story about a woman who is working a bunch, with a bunch of men, doesn't want to work there, decides Diary to lie avoid. about her pregnancy. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, Sarah Land, here we go. Story about a bunch of women who are all named Sarah. That's Not hilarious. all of them, but most of them. Most, That's a lot of Sarahs funny. that you love, Sarah Jessica Parker, you name it. I love it because it's such a colorful cover, too. It like, kind of just The cover, you, you right spotted in. this in another story. Yeah, in another story. bookstore. This yeah. is a great subway read, especially just to spark conversation. Yeah, That's cool. awesome. Okay. Samantha Irby's book of essays, it's her first book. Re to reading her books are like talking to your friend. It's like mm -hmm. listening oh, to your friend I vent. Love that. She talks about eating her talk, like, eating tacos and dealing with Crohn's and, I mean, all kinds of social issues, but also she makes it fun, she makes it light. So it's a little more true story. A little bit more, yeah, it's more me like memoir-based. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Um, okay. And we're finishing off with the selected works of Audre Lorde. She is incredible. Mm -hmm. it, I mean, the foreword is by Roxane Gay. She collected all of her works. I mean, you've got, you know, some of the most amazing things I think I've ever read, most dense oh, wow. things I've ever read. It's, you know, it's a really, really beautiful read. I would really recommend this. Awesome. Cool. Yeah. Really great, great options then. Great options. Thank Glad you I could so help. much. Yes, thank Thanks you for, for sharing your me. picks. And be sure to stop by Books Are Magic. They have two locations, like you heard her say, right in Brooklyn on Smith Street and Montague as well. So thank you so much. That was fantastic. Thank you. So let's get reading. Thanks, yeah. Jules.